Roy Lane is a South London based rom com released on Disney Plus last week with Rain Allen Miller directing of a script by Nathan Byron and Tom Malaya. The film opens on David Johnson's Dom having a post breakup meltdown in a unisex toilet stall when he's interrupted by Vivian Oprah's irrepressible Yaz, who's also recently out of a relationship. Like magnets, they almost instantly become stuck together, perhaps bonded by pain uh, as Yaz decides to join him when he meets with his ex and the former best friend of his that he caught her cheating on him with. Yaz is interested in people's messes, who wanted to be Purple Rain Prince when she was little, while Dom always wanted to be an accountant. The two are perfectly different in the best ways. Dom wants to walk through the process of what he feels a breakup should be step by step, whereas Yaz just wants to say, fuck it and go murk some eight-year-olds in Laser Quest. They have exactly what each other lacks and needs in classic rom-com style, but in a very credible and likable way. There's a musical quality to this. At just 82 minutes, it feels as much like an extended transfixing music video as a movie. It casually saunters from one beautiful, ridiculous, shiny, colourful scene to the next, sometimes blending into the surreal or an almost dreamlike state without ever snapping you out of the story. It's intoxicating and effortlessly hilarious. Seriously, this is one of the funniest movies that I've seen in years. It brought me from naught to giddily laughing like a child being tickled multiple times with just one or two lines. It absolutely broke me. The pair's meet cute is shot on handheld with the camera constantly shaking and loads of filters laid on to illustrate that kind of punch drunk love feeling of a perfect first date with someone that you know is going to be special in a more effective way than I've ever seen done before in a movie. Even the supporting cast are absolutely bought in, which is remarkable given that the movie is so short and it's very much the Dom and Yaz show as everything gets out of their way as their chemistry makes the boat float. But in spite of everyone else getting only a few lines to work with, they sell the shit out of what they've got. There's also some incredible cameos the movie just throws away because it can. It's actually such a confident flex for a production to operate at full capacity and at full confidence. This is excellent. The world feels fully fleshed out in a way that you're actually Actually dying for more. Seriously, this is a BBC production. I need them to commission this as a TV series. I just want to visit this world and hang out with these characters every week. 82 minutes was not nearly long enough. I feel like Vivian Oprah has made herself a superstar with this performance. It's quite easy to see how she has mild-mannered accountant Dom coming out of a shell in ways that his ex didn't even think possible within a few hours of meeting him. She's charming, she's hilarious, and she's impossible to take your eyes off from the second we meet Yaz. Get ready to see a lot of Vivian Oprah going forward. Roy Lane blew me away. I wasn't ready for it at all, and I spent the entire movie smiling. I'm not even a particularly rom-com guy, but this is just a nice movie that'll cheer anyone up with some stuff to say if you fancy listening that says it quickly enough to ignore if you just want to relax and enjoy the movie Roy Lane is one of my favourite movies of the year check it out ASAP if you're looking for just something to sit down if it's like a date night or you want to watch something with your partner or even just have a laugh by yourself uh, this is the perfect movie it's on Disney Plus now and it's great 